typically when we begin um, a campaign here on Garblag, we don't make a, an introduction movie as a year. Um, normally, the explanation we give is the bit at the start of the stream and we sort of explain a little bit of the setting or a little bit of the lore and as we go on we explain um, maybe some of the rules if it's a new system that we're trying or the players have played recently or um, that kind of stuff. I've begun running uh, a West Marches style campaign which I think needs a little bit of, of explanation before we get into it um, because it's a little bit difficult, different a little bit difficult yeah a little bit different as well um than other campaigns and like unlike my Coriolis campaign here on Garblag we're 45 sessions into a long narrative um there's plots the series of events that are key to the progression of the campaign um it's this hefty book that was preceded by this hefty book and there is another book on the way, um, and this details almost everything we're going to do. Um, we can go a little bit left, we can go a little bit right, but what's going to happen to the world is is predefined. We're almost on a choose-your-own-adventure path. Do we side with one horizon or the other or the third horizon? Yeah. A West Marches campaign doesn't offer that. Um, it doesn't corral players into a, a, a route um, and it offers a huge sandbox to sort of wander about in and explore things and um, ignore them if you want. Um, so, so the kickoff is very different. Um, if we continue kind of referencing Coriolis, like every Tuesday night, 9 p.m., over on Twitch, uh, myself, Ben, Pete, and Graham get together and we play for around two hours. If, I don't know, one of us can't make it, if we have to do something else that night, uh, real life gets in the way, we don't play that week. That's it. That was the one session we arrange and that's all we do. West March's campaign doesn't follow any of that either. Um, as the GM for the campaign, I give out my availability. I'm free on Wednesday afternoon. I could do Sunday evening. I'm all, you know, I don't have the day job on a Monday. Let's do that. And the players amongst themselves organize when we're going to play. And there are more than just three players. There are, as kickoff, I think, 11 or 12 players started in our campaign. Um, so each week, each session even, there's going to be different players rocking up. Um, it could be a mix of levels if some players have played other thing, other sessions before. Uh, it could be brand new characters, people who've never managed to play. You don't have to wait for a, a narrative a, event to join. You just join the campaign. And then we don't necessarily only play one session a week. Sometimes we might play two, three. Sometimes we might just play one. So it's a very different style of of organization and different style of building a campaign um and then not only do the players pick who they're playing with pick when they're going to play they they tell me what they want to do in this world um the first two sessions which are the first two uploads that you're going to get to see I offered a suggestion on what folks should do. I gave them a, a little mission to sort of gently lead them in, and that was it. Subsequent sessions are all devised by their own interactions with the world, the things that interests them and the things that they can rally a party to join them to go do. Um, it's entirely up to the, to the players. This style of play is not for everyone. Um, we need a lot of players. We also have to put down some meta rules, some um, things to make people work smoothly, set expectations, um, um, and also make sure they have a lot of reasons to go out and explore. Um, when I was setting this up, I had a couple of things on my side. Um, first up, I'm really lucky, really lucky to have um, a great local RPG community. Um, 
when I broached, when I offered the suggestion on Discord, um, everybody got really excited, got involved. Um, um, a lot of these folks have never been in a recorded RPG session. They've never joined a Twitch stream as a player or a YouTube recording or a podcast. That, you know, so a bunch of these folks have jumped in both feet first. Um, and um, I am eternally grateful that I get to run the campaign for them and then also share it with the wider inf internet. Um, and then um, I had another resource at my hands to take away a lot of the heavy lifting. There is a, a lot, a lot of setup in a, a Western Marches campaign that if you can do, will help it last longer. Um, I used um, an Enchiridion. How do I do this on Twitch? I should, uh, I should not do it. Uh, so I used the, um, the Enchiridion. Um, it's really well written. Uh, the folks, Don Lottie, Sam Sorensen, uh, they've clearly gone through the trials and tribulations and ups and downs of a, of a in-person West Marches campaign. Um, and it's a great help for getting started. Takes away, offers some great advice that can just, just cut through the trial and error you might have to do yourself as if you're going to run it in 5e like we are it's got some nice feet uh, lots of lovely tables um uh charts if you don't want to run it in 5e they talk about other systems and how you can osr it or um your favorite system you, you that you want um um there will be a link in the down there i can do down there There'll be a link if you want to go and, and check it out for yourself. Um, I recommend you do. It's a good one if you're thinking about running a, a West Marches campaign. Finally, I needed um, a, a world for us to explore. I have a lot of worlds in my head, a lot of adventures, a lot of things I want people to explore and interact with and help me create. Um, for this campaign, um, the the world of Mivia um, is the main setting. It's a setting I call the Nine Nations, um, and the Western Marches is a teeny tiny subsection um, of it, where we're going to explore a few hundred miles in a nation called the Underhalt that has been through the Ringer, um, civil unrest, civil wars. Poverty, but you know, it, it's not had a good time of it. And during that good time, a lot of their history, their, a lot of their documents, a lot of their understanding of the world around them has been lost. They don't have as many heroes to go out and explore. And that's what our adventuring parties are. We're on a frontier in a corner of a world um, that nobody can advise them on what is going to be out there. So we get to, to go out. Um, this is a lot, and I appreciate I'm squashing this into like a short video, uh, 10 minutes or so to, to sort of prime you for, for what the videos are to follow. Um, for, for my players, I created a, a player's document. Um, kept all of our rules on one page was a small, comparatively small um, amount of reading. Not all players are going to read any of it. Some players only read the character creation stuff and that's all they're interested because that's all they need to get started. But this, I think, 20 page document um, with pictures, it looks good, uh, was made. Um, it's also a reference there for the rules that we've set. We're going to use encumbrance or backstories aren't going to be um, plucked from like a normal campaign setting again back to setting expectations explaining stuff and having it all written out for us um i will share a version of this for uh gobbler games patrons if you're a patron at secret above you are um, you get all our gm resources um and so i will um upload a version of this uh to the gobbler games patron um you can have a link in the below and um this is what the players got um, once all that was kind of bundled together, it took a few weeks in December to do it. We started playing at the, the beginning of January. Um, we're not running this live. We're running it ourselves, um, very casually. 
Um, we couldn't live stream this because it happens at random times. We might not play it, but we are recording it. Um, we'll try and upload whatever we play um, to YouTube. This is the first time I've got a West Marches campaign rolling and I sort of fell in love with the idea of it when I ran a game store. Um, we, um, we played a lot of Adventure League there. Um, those who don't know what Adventure League is, it's the fifth edition organized play. It's what you would go and play at conventions. It's very, um, very big in the States, very big in North America, not so big here in the UK. Um, but we were running Adventure League every week, every Wednesday night, seven till nine, um, no, six till eight, and then 8.30 till 10.30. We ran two sessions a night. Seven tables across the evening. Each table had six players. We had this huge community of players, um, and we were all running um, the Storm King's Thunder setting. Um, and it felt a little West Marchies. Marchies, marches. Um, we would arrive at a, city, a town called Parnast, go out on an adventure, uh, and come back to Parnast at the end of it. Um, each week, your table would possibly be of different players. Sometimes it would, you know, you'd arrive with your friends, you'd, but you know, you didn't know who would be at your table. Um, but the adventures were very um, prescriptive. And that's because they're written for hundreds, thousands of people to play. Um, they're very sort of railroady. That's just the nature of Adventure League. Um, but it was great fun. But there was often the, this feeling of like, but I want to explore more of that dungeon. I want to spend more time doing this. I want to go back and try and get to the bits that we didn't do last time. And so we had this idea of West Marches bubbling around in our heads with me and the other GMs. And it never happened. And so to now be able to, to take that and run it with some friends and share it with you folks is, is great. I can't promise it's going to last 10, 15, 20, five sessions. It just lasts as long as folks keep scheduling. Um, I can't promise we will find any narrative satisfaction um, because it's all based on what the players want to do and a bunch of charts and dice rolling. Um, there are things I have deposited on a map that they can go out and find. There are gribblies and weird stuff that they can encounter, kill, talk to, make friends with, whatever. Um, but I can't promise that they will find it, care about it, or go back for more. Um, but I... I do you think we're going to have some really good um, sessions? And I do think it's a, an experiment, a, a style worth exploring. Um, my introduction has become very rambly um, and <laughs> um, uh, off my script. So uh, I'm going to get out the way. I'm going to share with you um, here, here. There we go. Here, this is where our first session in chronological order of, of play. And um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, leave a comment or so if you want to know more about maybe the setup or the, the GM back behind the screen things. Maybe we can look at doing more prep, preparing, share some of our secrets, if you will. Um, but otherwise, please enjoy um, our West Marches campaign. Welcome to your underhold. <laughs> <laughs> 